So we've moved on to part B of our work and friction problem. And part B says that we apply a force of 350 newtons for a distance of 20 meters. And we want to know how much work was done to do this. So basically, we can make a free body diagram of this. We have pushed this box with a force of 350 newtons. Um, and then, as well, we have normal force pointing up and gravitational force pointing down. But we are actually going to ignore these for now because these cancel each other out. So when we calculate work, they're not going to affect our value. But uh, anyway, we have our pushing force this way, uh, 350 newtons, but as well, we have a friction force pointing back this way of 235.44 newtons. So this is friction force, and this is our pushing force, and we want to know how much work we did to move this box. And we know that work is equal to force times distance. So we have our push force and our friction force. One of these is going to be positive, one of these is going to be negative, but overall we are just going to sum them because this force is the net force acting on our box. Um, and we purposefully ignored the normal force and the gravitational force. Uh, one, because those cancel, and two, because if we did account for them, uh, it would just make this whole thing much longer and much much more complicated than we want it to be. But either way, we are just going to sum these two values. So our net force is equal to 350 minus uh, 235.44 because our friction force is acting against our motion. Uh, so we just calculate this and it's 114 point, oops, point five six newtons. So we just plug this number in for our force and we can calculate the total work that it takes to push this box. So of course we just calculated 114.56 newtons times, and then the distance that we push this box is 20 meters. So times 20, and this is going to equal uh, a total work of 2,291.2 joules. So it took us it took us this amount of work to push this box. And if we had ignored friction, if we didn't subtract this value from 350, we would have done much more work. But uh, as reality is. Uh, we do have to account for friction force in order to be accurate. So with that, we have finished part B.